how does the Toro Time Master handle a Bermuda grass lawn? Actually, it handles it pretty darn good. I've got four tips on how I mow my Bermuda lawn with a Toro Time Master. All right, so the first and probably most important tip is use side discharge. The Toro Time Master is a great mulching mower, but on Bermuda, it will bog down if you try to mulch. So throw that side discharge chute on the side. It's really easy to add on and just blow those clippings out. You'll be happy that you did. The mower will be strong and power through that Bermuda. Tip number two is alternate your patterns. So this is really important because if you're used to mowing with a 21 or 22 inch push mower, the Toro Time Master is about double the weight of one of those mowers. You're gonna see those wheel marks, particularly in the Bermuda lawn. And if you mow the same pattern every time, you're just gonna keep burning in those wheel marks. Ask me how I know why I've done it. So I actually mow a different pattern each time and I take it to an extreme. I don't just alternate. Uh, front and back, sideways. I just rotate and actually do different angles every time. So by alternating in all these different patterns, I'm only gonna have those wheels going across the lawn one direction, maybe once every month or so, and it helps to not burn in those wheel marks as bad. Okay, tip number three, keep your machine well-maintained. This goes really for any kind of lawn, but particularly when you're mowing a Bermuda lawn, you need to keep a well-running machine. That includes changing the oil every season, changing any, any filters. Your Toro Time Master has a fuel filter as well as an air filter, so change those at the beginning of the season and also service your blade drive system. Also check that spark plug and replace if it's dirty. Um, that'll give you a little bit more power when you're trying to go through this thick Bermuda lawn. Okay, tip number four, and this one may be a little controversial, so raise the deck height. Why would I say raise the deck height? Everybody talks about Bermuda and mowing it low. Go as low as you can, and that's great, but this is a rotary mower, so the wider that you go with a rotary style mower on Bermuda especially, the higher you're going to have to raise it the deck to not have scalp marks. Bermuda, unfortunately, is a grass that will scalp like crazy. And that's just because of how it grows. So Bermuda grows with the green really dense and thick and green, but then it leaves the bottom part of the plant brown and ugly. So if you go into little divots and stuff in your yard and you're mowing too low, you're gonna see crop circles and scalp marks. And that's not just the problem that's unique to the Time Master. Anytime you go wider with a rotary mower, you're gonna to need to raise that deck height on your Bermuda lawn a little bit. I'm actually mowing a little bit over two and a half inches right now on my Bermuda. Typically, I'm gonna be at the lowest um, setting or the second to lowest setting in the spring. As I go through the summer, I'm gonna raise that deck height. Bermuda's a grass that ideally you'd be out mowing two or three times a week, but as homeowners, most of us don't have two or three times a week to mow. So right now I'm mowing every five or six days. I've gone as much as seven days due to work and life and family and all that kind of stuff. And it's okay, just pop that uh, deck up one notch, mow it, you're gonna have a nice green looking lawn. Is it gonna be as low as people say you should have Bermuda? No, but it's gonna look good. All right, final thoughts on mowing a Bermuda lawn with a Toro Time Master. Overall, it does a good job. It's a powerful mower. It's got a wide deck to get the job done faster, especially if you have a larger lawn like I do. You know, although it doesn't mulch the best when the Bermuda gets really thick in the summer, the side discharge chute is a great option to really throw those clippings and keep them on the lawn. And overall, I'm really pleased with the mower after three seasons of cutting my Bermuda lawn with it. I did do a video last year about the Time Master not saving a huge amount of time. And you know, I got a lot of comments on that. I want to kind of address that towards the end of this video. When you think about it, I know one person commented about the time savings on it because they use the mower commercially. And you know, I really didn't realize how many people actually use this mower as a commercial mower. I started seeing them on trailers around uh, where I live. And it's actually a really cheap way to get into a lawn mowing business, but I use mine as a homeowner but I'm gonna apply the same thing. So I think I said it saved me about six and a half minutes just on my front yard. Now, um, some of y'all have been following along the channel know that I've got a lot more grass than just my front yard. I've got a whole entire back and side yards that really are about triple the size of my front yard when it's all added together. And I think it's a great point that one of the viewers commented about when you add up how many times you're mowing and that six and a half minutes actually ends up being a lot of time. So I definitely agree with that but one thing i would say for me and my property is do i wish i had a riding mower yeah i probably should have bought that instead but at the time the time master was right around that thousand or eleven hundred dollar price point so it really made sense for me plus i don't have a shed so storing it back here in my garage 
that's a really bonus. The handle folds up and it stores really easily in front of a car or a vehicle. So that was another really big selling point on the Time Master for me. All right, that's it for this video. I wanna thank you for watching and I hope these tips helped if you're considering a Time Master mower for a Bermudalon and leave me a comment down below if you've got any additional questions. I know there's a lot of things I didn't discuss in the video. Please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.